before going in detail to the play first we will look at a quick glance at the author that is william shakespeare england's national poet shakespeare is considered the greatest dramatist of who ever lived while many of his histories tell of english monarchs henry iv part 1 remains one of his most esteemed plays largely because it features the first appearance of falstaff who is widely considered shakespeare's greatest co comedic character So when we look at uh, the fools and clowns and comedy characters of Shakespeare, the position or the place for Sir John Falstaff is remarkable. So when we have a look at the characters, main characters of the play, we will come to notice that uh, there isn't that much characters, but the characters who are in the play are very important. The first person is uh, Harry. Percy Hotspur these are the three na uh, different names uh, in which one character is been port portrayed that is uh, Henry Percy he is also called Hotspur then we have prince hal uh, then we ho have Falstaff and other characters include earl of northumberland and king henry the 4 so mm, in this play there are other symbols which we need to be noted especially the mask sword and crown and these symbols have a significant role throughout the play the mask sword and crown are key symbols as characters take on disguises engage in hand to hand combat and struggle with the responsibility of leadership so these are the recurrent th uh, symbols which comes in the play then moving on to the themes we have father son relationships appearance versus reality and honor in father son relations we know that honor differs among the king and prince hall falstaff and hal and hotspur and the earl so in the appearance versus reality theme we have the characters often take take on false identities tell stories and live parallel realities and the theme of honor comes when much of the play's dialogue and actions revolves around what it means to be act honorably so in this play we know that uh, the theme of being nobleman being gentleman or being a monarch or being honorable all these th things comes in so uh, to give a play what does it mean to be a prince that is the main question or that is the main idea which revolves around the story it have a uh, four dimensions that is a revelry a rebuck a reversal and then a redemption in the revelry part prince hal shirks his duties for a life of drinking and folly with his friend falstaff and in the rebucking section the king henry chastises his son saying the young rebel hotspur is more suited for the position ashamed prince hal wants to change and is put in command of forces set to fight the rebels and the redemption section we have Prince Hal saves his father and kills Hotspur regaining his honor as prince and son. So when we look at this very picture itself we will get a clear idea of the play. That is the first stage is about the prince being drunk then he acts so many uh, plays or he acts so many uh, in reviews and uh, this mask is the thing which symbolizes uh, prince hal and the third section that is about the plotting of the fight and the last session this crown signifies his uh, what getting ready to be a prince or to getting ready to be a good son for his father 
and we see that at the end of the 15th century england is uh, torn by rebellion and adding to the king's problems uh, prince hal is off drinking with the prankish forest of heeding his father's call home prince hal ultimately regains the king's respect through cunning and heroic acts quelling a revolt coming of age and proving worthy of his future life so these are the lines which signifies a quick summary of the play and we also need to look some of the numbers okay uh, he shakespeare mentions radishes the vegetable radish in this play one time at one instance he discuss about the vegetable radish and the number 2 is play shakespeare series of four is about the power struggles leading to henry 5's reign so this book henry 4 part 2 comes in the second position then characters who get into sword fights there are six characters who uh, get into sword fights and number 3 that is shakespeare plays in which falstaff appears that is henry 4 part 1 henry 4 part 2 and the merry wise of winster so the in these three plays we can see the presence of falstaff and now we will have a quick look at one of the famous quote from henry 4 part 1 and the quote was given by or the the saying was made by prince hall in act 3 scene 2 i will redeem all this on percy's head and in the closing of some glorious day be bold to tell you that i am your son so from this very uh, quote itself we can recognize uh, that it was made by prince hall because i am your son then percy's head all these things gives a clue that it was a statement made by prince hall so these are some of the quick summary for henry 4 part 1